What's up YouTube, Fearless One here, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to get your muzzle flashes and bullet hits to look pretty real. Alright, so what we want to do, you know, since you last watched my last video on how to do this, you should already know. HD TV, 720, 29.97 frames per second, click OK. Then drag your m film movie clip down to the comp settings. Yes, that is me. I just woke up. So, let's trim this down a little bit to right there and right there. That looks pretty good. So, just slide that all the way to the beginning. And we're going to go over here, go type in color balance. So, Drag that onto your film. If you wa watch my other videos, you should already know how to set this up so it looks pretty good. Alright, so now that you have that, always preserve luminosity. That's your key. We're also going to type in. No, let's see. Going to get mosaic ready. I don't even think I spelled it right. Mosaic. Okay, there it is. Alright, mosaic. So you're going to get your muzzle flash coming in here. And you're going to drag it on top of the film. And position it to when you shoot. You don't want it to be really too big. I mean, muzzle flares only happen once in a blue moon when you actually shoot again. They're pretty much there just for when you're watching a movie. Just to show the effect that they shot. So we're going to pan through here. You can also page up and page down to scroll through your clip one frame at a time. So we're going to go right there. Put that muzzle flare right there at the beginning of that. So we're going to reposition it. Oh, sorry about that. If that ever happens, just click this little X up here. So just move that into position. And you can see... To me, that, that muzzle flare looks completely fake. There, It doesn't even look like it came from the gun. So what we're going to do is we're going to add mosaic to the muzzle flare. And see right there, it looks pretty crappy. Now, my camera that looks best with the 400 settings. So you can tone it down a little bit to match it. But what you need to do is you need to... Whatever effect you put on your movie, you want to put on your video. So I'm going to come back up here, color, balance, drag that on to the muzzle flare. Key, key topic right there. I want to make sure you do that. So it looks like you actually shot it. That looks a little bit better. So we can go boom. Let's, let's put it right there so it looks like. I'm going to go pan down, page down. Sorry about that. Let's move this over a smidge more. Page up. Bam. So you want to drag this till it's almost completely gone. So it's only going to last for like two frames drag it down a little bit more bam alright page up bam so that's what you want to do for that that's a really simple gun flare but we also want to add a glow to your clothes into the ground get some environment reactions with your gun flare so what you want to do is you want to cop or duplicate this control D duplicate that put that on top select this that's uh solo it my bad 
so just just solo the clip so nothing else shows and oh and let's see let's get the muzzle flare in there too so you can tell when it happens so right there what you want to do is you want to go to your mask pin and you want to add some of this to your face and whatever part of your body is going to be exposed to this muzzle flare so we want to add a little bit to the ground a little bit to my arm I'm pretty much just guessing where this is so you can move it around once you select this just drag it to where you think it should be drag this down a little bit and yes we will be feathering it very simple so just drag this over drag that on looks fairly decent sorry if I'm boring you but you know I'm trying to just help you guys get this out a little bit I want, once we get done with this we're going to set this layer to add so I'm going to give the face just enough alright so we have everything else set now when he when I shoot the gun we're going to set this to oh, toggle switch modes and put this to add so it looks fairly bright but we also want to mask feather it alright so mask one feather feather it about quite a bit Alright, this is just going to be a rough uh, estimate of what to do. So, mask two, just feather this out till it looks like uh, an actual gun flare. So, <coughs> mask four. And this could probably gonna be my arm, I believe. Alright, so that looks pretty decent. But that's not what we want right away. So we're going to go here and we're going to go to transform. And the page up and page down, you're going to need to do. So, so page right before your muzzle flare goes off, select the time keyframe tool, whatever the clock stopwatches go page down till the muzzle flare comes on and then it comes off so you want to raise that to 100 opacity page down one frame and then set it back to zero so it should look like this like you actually shot it so there you go that's a simple little uh, muzzle flash tutorial has been pretty simple. So, thanks for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. So, also download my toolbar so we can make better films for you guys. Thanks for watching.